We're so happy to see all you guys. And if you are new around here, if you found us, thanks to our friends at the Young Turks sending you our way. Hello, breakfast all day. We are here. We have been here. We have missed you. If you've not subscribed yet, it's a great time to subscribe because we've got a totally random array of stuff like Enola Holmes and Armageddon <laughs> Time and like the Fablemans is coming out and Bardo is coming out and Bones and All is coming out. Like Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Wakanda Forever. We're going to do a live stream on November 12th. Like I feel like all of a sudden it's November. Right? How did that happen? <laughs> anyway, um, but Alonzo will tell you about the very charming Enola Holmes. <laughs> so yeah, this... Is he looking back? you gonna be my girl oh good he isn't this is the sequel uh to the netflix hit we guess we never know how things <laughs> do on netflix we have to believe what they tell us but anyway it's based on a series of ya novels about uh sherlock holmes's clever and capable sister played by millie bobby brown uh after the events of the first movie she's decided to go into business for herself and open up her own detective agency in london but of course at first nobody is interested until a young match girl comes in one day and says hey my sister's missing and this sets uh, enola into an investigation that involves uh, corporate skullduggery and the mysterious uh, deaths of uh, factory workers and also dovetails with an investigation that her big brother Sherlock, played by Henry Cavill, is doing. And of course, all, all roads lead to Moriarty. I love Millie Bobby Brown in this role so much. It is such a joy to watch her be funny and loose and free. She's so great on Stranger Things, but so much of that role requires her to just be like, like just scowling and having a nosebleed and making things move <laughs> with her mind or just she's stuck in like a, you know, sensory deprivation water chamber. So to see her like just playing and breaking the fourth wall and she's got such great comic timing which she never gets to show on Stranger Things. She gets to literally let her hair down. And I, I yeah. hope it looks like she's <laughs> she having a blast. <laughs> yeah, that too. It looks like she's having a total blast doing this. Um, if this feels very flea baggy to you it's because <laughs> or the she director hulky. or she hulky because the, the director henry bradbeer who also did the first film directed a lot of episodes of flea bag so if it feels kind of familiar yeah sure but it's still so enjoyable um i love the way this film moves i love the way it's edited i i love the the speed and just like the joy of the flashbacks is so zippy and so quick. I love the use of hand-drawn pictures that come to life to sure. illustrate what's happening. And Lithographs. It's, it's, <laughs> yeah. And there's like a, like a map where like the little footprints lead to wherever she has to go. And then the footprints are in the live action scenery. <laughs> so I had a really good time with this. It has like maybe three endings too many. <laughs> it just keeps ending. Like there's a point yeah. where it could end and it would be satisfying and it just keeps going. Like, ah, uh, <laughs> like there's kind of a corny scene at the end. I'm like, ah, uh, I didn't really need to see that. That could have been implied. Yeah, um, I, you know, I have to say the first hour of this, I found a little relatively rough going. I thought that the, the, the fourth wall breaking stuff, which I, I'm not against, but it felt a little self-satisfied, a little like, I, I, the movie's kind of patting itself on the back at times, but I thought that once it really got into where it was going and they didn't have to do that so much that it felt like it was sort of finding its own footing. And I wish that they didn't feel the need to rope Sherlock's case into this. Mm. Like I, it would have been, I would have much preferred to see her do this thing on her own, you know, maybe getting some help along the way, but like, that her, you know, that her case and his case wind up being the same case, you know, it's sort of like, eh, okay, fine. I mean, Cavill's <laughs> fun. He's great to watch, but I just, I like the idea of Enola just getting to be, you know, cause the whole thing is about like, I'm, I'm good at this too. And I'm not just my brother's sister. I'm, you know, my own person. And yet the movie still like tethers her to him in a way that I felt didn't always work to its benefit, but yeah, Millie Bobby Brown is a hoot, and there's a real fun supporting cast here. You know, I mean, David Thewlis. When <laughs> David, you when you when a cop is played by David Thewlis, you know he's bad news from the get go, <laughs> and uh, he is giving like 
not he's not going full panto here but he's definitely enjoying being like the really bad bad guy so that's a lot of fun and yeah i think by the time like i said like hour two i felt like it was much more confident in itself and 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 feeling like it it knew where it was going and and what it was doing so yeah i I had a good time with it see i felt like the whole thing with her being really sassy and smart assy and breaking the fourth wall is a reflection not so much of the movie patting itself on the back but of her really striving to assert herself like Mm -hmm. look at me i'm funny i'm smart because she is trying to establish who she is outside the shadow of sherlock holmes so i viewed it as like ha look at me check me out (laughs) And, and, and i guess by reflection the movie itself seems to be doing that as well I guess you know maybe I was in, in a in a better in a worse <laughs> mood in the first hour, Aww, but, uh, poo. <laughs> it did, but it picked up. It picked up for me by the end of it. I was absolutely on board. I thought it was fun. Uh, I uh, you know it's funny we we were just recently having a conversation about Training Day, and I do love a movie that asserts that the cops are there to defend the interests of rich people because they are, uh, <laughs> and that also one of the one of the characters in this movie winds up being a really important figure in the history of the British labor movement. Right. I didn't realize that a lot of what is the meat of this story, the location of this story mm. is historically rooted. I didn't realize. That. I didn't did know you? either till the end. Uh, no, at the end I did, but it's like, oh, I mean, it, it mm-hmm. all, it felt, it, makes sense. it felt believable, but I didn't realize how much they were really cribbing from stuff that had actually taken place. Yeah. Um, Lewis Partridge as he's back from the first film as mm. the, the pretty rich boy that she, she saved the first time around. And now he is a Lord in the house of Lords and like, he's fine. You know, he yeah. has to sort of be like her conduit to high society and, and uh, they have a, a cute chemistry with each other. He is the boy in the way yeah. that women are so often being stuck being the girl in like, you know, somebody else's adventure. Yeah, for sure. And I enjoy Helena Bonham Carter as her mom. She's always yes. a who and watching them play off of each other is really fun. So, yeah, I thought it was a good, like, light, fun, little, exciting adventure. Um, yeah. You know, if you want to put something on on Netflix on, you know, on the weekend, like, just I think you could all watch it together. Nick and I watched it and had a good time. So oh, nice. he didn't really want to. He's like, ah, I'm like, dude, it's 11. You like Stranger Things. You're going to like it. And it's just, it's just, it's a total joy, though, to just watch her just cut loose. And so for that alone, I think it's worth watching. If I had a 12 year old to park in front of the set, this would be the kind of thing I would park them in front of for sure. For sure. So what's your number then? Uh, I said a seven. Okay. I will say 7.8. Okay. I wish it were a little bit tighter. Yeah. It doesn't need to be too, a little over two hours. Like it could be, you know. But no. There's more. There's always more. There's always more. There's always, there's always. There's, a lot of movies just don't know when to end. Yeah, yeah. They they really <laughs> feel like they have to, you know. And of course, they 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 want you to know that there's a there's going to be another one, you know. And so they they have to they have to tack that on as well. You know? Anyway, Anola Holmes two out on Netflix this weekend.